When it comes to PC building, there are two kinds of trends that industry leaders set. Those that change the space for the better, and those that make no fucking sense. What is going on, guys? I am AJ, and today we're going to be discussing four PC trends that should be, in my opinion, erased from existence. So, stick around. And let's discuss this. Number one, cases that restrict airflow. While most PC cases today are designed for good airflow, companies like Asus and Dell seem to have missed the memo when it comes to their pre-builds. Yes, yes, I know that there are vents that will allow some airflow, but those will never be as efficient at pulling in air as an open mesh panel with dedicated intake fans would. While small form factor PCs are understandably cramped and may naturally run hotter, larger systems don't really have an excuse. Number two, the sheer amount of RGB software. While real PC gamers know that RGB adds much needed performance to your rig, the downside to decking out your setup like Times Square is the plethora of software you'll need to coordinate this light show. Of course, each brand uses its own proprietary software, and if you use components from different brands, which is more than likely, you'll have to have the software from each if you want it to work in sync. To make matters more complex, some software might even interfere with each other and cause issues. Sure, you can mitigate this by adopting an ecosystem like Corsair's IQ, which is far from perfect. But what if you also have an ASUS motherboard and a Gigabyte GPU? You'll still have to download Armory Crate and Gigabyte RGB Fusion respectively if you want to control all of your lighting. Is it too much to ask for one universal software to do all of this? Number 3. Bloatware Now this applies more to pre-built PCs. While third-party builders save you the time and trouble of putting a system together, they are also guilty of installing a suite of software utilities that A, you may never use, B, might slow down your system, and or C, might be downright useless. Having the option to opt out of having crap pre-installed to your paid-for machine shouldn't even be a debate. The last one on this list technically hasn't hit the market yet, but is being considered. And that is whatever the fuck this is. Officially revealed during Computex 2023 is this motherboard featuring rear-facing connectors. In our pursuit of making our rigs more aesthetically pleasing, this cable management solution attempts to make PSU cables a thing of the past. Except... it doesn't. Yeah, connecting your cables behind the board does sound nice on paper, but upon execution is a terrible idea that would require a complete redesign to modern PC cases in order to accommodate the change. If motherboard manufacturers were to hypothetically adopt this new standard, it would force case manufacturers to adapt. And us, the consumer, would have to navigate an already saturated sea of components in this new compatibility nightmare. Now, while I understand that change is an inevitable part of, well, everything, I also understand that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let me know what PC building trends you guys want to see gone down in the comments. And if you want to hear me ramble on about PC-related content, and mosey on over to this video right here.